So we start in three, two, one, go. All three Red Alliance robots scoring during the autonomous pre-program period. Blue Alliance scoring three game pieces as well. Both sides of the fields had one robot docked and engaged. Students now at the control behind the driver's station glass. Team 3260 sharply places a cube on the top row for the Blue Alliance. Team 3193 Falco Tech with a cone in possession over on the red power grid. Gently places a cone on the top row. Another five points for the Red Alliance. Red trying to hold on to a very slim lead, 55 to 50. Plenty of time left on the clock for the Blue Alliance to make something happen here. Frobotics, the team out of Murraysville, played a little bit of defense, now has a cone from the Blue Alliance substation, crosses the midfield line, looks to go up and over the charge station on the Blue Alliance side of the field, and now eyes a mid-row node for that cone placement, doing so successfully. A minute still left in this qualification match. Team 6032 over on the near side of the field bumps into their alliance partner. Waiting their turn for the substation to pick up a game piece off of the floor. The hungry hippo has a cone and they are hungry to score that for the Red Alliance. Still down by just a few points. Red Alliance now overtaking the Blue Alliance score. 92 to 91 as we find ourselves in the last 30 seconds of the match. Team 3954, their robot crank, joining the Austin Town team on the Red Alliance charge station. For the Blue Alliance, it looks like Team 378, the New Fane Circuit Stompers, will have their friends from Sharp docked and in 122 to 118. Blue Alliance not walking away empty-handed from this match. They score one, game, one rank point during match number 13.